So as we looked around the web this morning, we found a few reasons for JV and me to make some long story short. You ready? I'm ready for it. Let's All right. Chicagoist.com reports United Airlines refused to help a 10-year-old girl at O'Hare Airport. Phoebe Cleveland was traveling to summer camp in Michigan by herself when she missed her connection at O'Hare. Her parents called an airline official. Phoebe's mom said when I asked to speak with her to be sure she was fine, she said that was not possible. When I asked frantically to talk to her supervisor, she put me on hold for 40 minutes. Phoebe finally made it to camp, but adding insult to injury, you know how this ends, United lost her bag. You will gasp at this, Gail. Newsweb.com reports a young player was thrown out of the National Scrabble Tournament for cheating. <gasps> Another player saw him hiding blank tiles to apparently use in the next game. Now, officials say the teenager did confess, and this is the first time anyone's ever been caught cheating at the national championships. That's big, JB, because big blank big. tiles mean you can make up any letter you want. If you, you have a magic a marker with you, right? Yes, you can. <laughs> Not good. USA Today has a story on geek chic at NASA. Bo Backfordowski, known as Mohawk Guy, works on NASA's Curiosity mission to Mars. So does Adam Steltzner with his pompadour and his sideburns. He's known as the Elvis Guy. Even President Obama's watching them during a congratulatory, congratulatory phone call. The president said, you guys are a little cooler than you used to be. Mm -hmm. My daughter says I lost my cool a long time ago. <laughs> All right, get ready for a new temptation. The New York Daily News says Cinnabon is expanding into the pizza market with its new Pizza Bond. It's like a regular pizza, but smaller and with not as much sauce. That would be good for me. Mm -hmm. It uses the same bread as the classic Cinnabon. I wonder how many Weight Watcher points that is. I don't know the points, but I do know the calories a gazillion. Mm. But it's good. And Bloomberg Businessweek says a Connecticut homeowner is getting a big refund from her electric company. For the last 25 years, Grace Edwards was billed for the electricity used to power the streetlights near her home. She was reimbursed <laughs> almost $10,500 when she finally noticed the strange charges on her bill. I'm confused. How do you not notice the charges on your bill if you're being billed for the streetlights? And to pay the bill at that, better than a refund check from the IRS, right? Yes, mm. I would have asked a question or two.